George Howell Cafe, right now the first um, in Newtonville, Massachusetts. Um, we're about to try something I haven't done before, which is uh, pour over over metallic ice cubes. So usually you guys do this on a bigger scale though. Yeah, exactly. So which, um, which is right here. This is the result of this. Um, so this just prevents any dilution happening as we brew it. This is the Mamutu AB from Kenya. The AB being the second grade in Kenya. It's not quite up to par with the AA, but it's good, good drip. So we get um we get a few shops opening soon, um, and that's going to be basically George's second go around. Mm -hmm. um, he started a company called the Coffee Connection, I believe back in '75. Uh, but at any rate, um, yeah, George had about uh, 12 shops going before he started uh, feeling definitively threatened by Starbucks, <laughs> where they were uh, confirmed for heading east. It, I think it was something that George had brought up with Howard Scholes at that point a few times. They sort of had a relationship going where, because he, he knew they were spreading. At that point, you know, they had gone to Chicago and um, other major cities certainly east of Seattle. But by the time he had about 12 shops and they were going to be a legitimate threat in Massachusetts, that's when he franchised the Coffee Connection and I believe doubled the shops. And this was about the early 90s, um, prior to about 1994, which is when a deal was struck with Starbucks. And part of that is once you have Starbucks um, basically their philosophy is going to be a lot more about efficiency on the shop level. And so it kind of prevents baristas that George was hiring from being able to do what they had up until that point. So we're competing with them um, on their level, what they're good at doing, and as opposed to what we're good at doing or what the Coffee Connection at that point had been good at doing. And not to mention, at that point, um, Seattle Coffee, Starbucks being a major player, but also Pete's and... Uh, Seattle's coffee, etc. Seattle's, Seattle's best, right? Um, are kind of really pushing and successfully marketing the dark roast. And so, since George, at that point, you know, had been a pioneer of full flavored light roast, uh, that's that's just another burden, like another obstacle that he has to surpass. There, there's certainly a culture that's. Uh, that's artisanal based, that's rising. Um, and I mean, if George I think knows he has some of the best product. And part of that is uh, because of certainly his Coffee Connection days, but also what happened afterwards, which is him uh, working, developing the Cup of Excellence, uh, working with farmers pretty directly for sustainability, working with the UN, I believe. Um, I'm not sure exactly what his job was there, but he certainly got to know a lot of farmers and got a lot of sources and connections. I can't wait to taste it. Yeah, this will be interesting. I'm gonna taste some as well.